Hey everyone, it's good to be with you again today as we are in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 20 through 24. And, I, you know, to get some context, I want to kind of jump back a few verses. Because Paul, he's talking about the unity of the body of Christ. And in this section, he kind of moves on to the new life that we have. And so he's, he's trying to encourage us to walk in a way that is in a complete contrast to the way we used to be, right? So beginning in verse 17, Paul says, Now this I say, and testify in the Lord that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do, as you used to, in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of heart. They have become callous and have given themselves up to sensuality, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. Verse 20, where we start today, but that is not the way you learned Christ. Assuming that you've heard about him and were taught in him, as the truth is in Jesus, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God, in true righteousness and holiness. So, a couple of things. You know, Paul's going to great lengths to kind of give us a reminder of the way that not only the Gentiles were walking, but how we used to be, right? We were walking in the futility of our, of our mind, futility of our minds. We were darkened in our understanding. We were alienated from God. We had hearts that were hard and callous. Now, first and foremost, these hearts, according to Paul, in so many places, whether it's Romans chapter 1, chapter 3, and Ephesians 2, these hearts were dead. Dead in their trespasses, had no desire for God. But then God does something. He, he gives us new life, makes us new creations, right? And Paul starts, starts to talk about this in verse 22, to put off our old self. Now, this means there's an intentionality here. And not only that, we have to remember our old selves, like when Christ saves us, that stain of the old man, part of that remains. That's the reason why we struggle still. We're, we're not perfect in our walk. And he says to put off the old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and corrupt and is corrupt through deceitful desires. So there are many of us who have maybe walked in darkness long before Christ got a hold of us. And so there's going to be a lot of desires and struggles that we engage and indulged in that now we are no longer our slaves to. But there's still that old man that has you kind of looking back and, and or struggling with those things. But here's the beautiful part. We are no longer slaves to them. We are free in Christ to be obedient and to love God the way we've been commanded. And one of the ways we do that is in verse 23. It says, and be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God. Be renewed in the spirit of your minds. Paul says this in Romans, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And you know, when we talk in church, and a lot of times we always talk about how oh, the heart and pray for the heart and but I would say, no, we need to focus on the mind because our hearts always follow our minds. What our mind dwells on ends up being what our hearts focus in on. And that's why we have so many idols. We, we focus with our minds and all of a sudden, we, before we realize, our hearts are focused on these things. So as Paul is encouraging them to be united, to make sure that they're not focused in living in such a way where they're still darkened and still focused on those old aspects of who they were, he's saying, no, 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 you are new uh, in your creation in Christ, in the ability to be obedient, and we need to be renewed in the spirit of our mind. So uh, just an encouragement today, as you're going throughout the day, although we focus on our hearts, be mindful of where your mind is at. And the way that we're transformed by the renewing of our mind is we're constantly in the Word of God remembering his promises, remembering what he purchased us from, that we, uh, like in Colossians, it says that he transferred us from the domain of darkness to the kingdom of his son. These are the truths that we focus in on, that we worship him uh, for, and that uh, keep us humble, knowing that although we are, we are now free to obey, that we need to remain dependent on him every day in his spirit. And that's in and through his word and prayer. So God bless you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next week.